Hey, yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Twin here, and uh, this will be a video on, I would say, the third date. But guess what? It shows the fourth date right now, so it's a little bit iffy. Uh, I started like three hours before the reset, so that is one of the things that happened. The 15 day journey has been made, and guess what? I am actually at 9 10. Crazy. So. What did I pick? And I want to show you guys what this team can actually do. Uh, Dragon T8. Let's put this one on auto. Nope. Dragon. And we got ourselves an Artemia on a one star. Uh, got the unique treasure. Uh, got a Lorraine. Got a lucky unique weapon from this. A lucky pool. Uh, these were pretty much made. And all of the other characters are pretty much as you see them. Uh, the Jane actually has a UT three as well and like i said in the previous video on the best characters for early game guess what this is it like this is probably the team that can do just about anything so without further ado let's get into some damage now first off you will see artemia will do absolutely absolutely insane and uh i i expected this i made this into the video and i was not surprised now, Lavril, on the other hand, she has been uh, downvoted just a little bit. Reason for it being onto like the seventh day, you get a four line selector, which makes her an absolute monster in terms of dealing damage. But what I would pick instead, if I would do the route again, I would pick Refi instead of Lavril early game. So that way I could potentially beat up 9 10 because I'm lacking like a lot of AoE healing right now. But aside from that, this is working so well. Lorraine is definitely putting out everything that I wanted to do. Like, the stuns are doing great. Early game, she's doing actually pretty good as well in terms of dealing damage. Because as a magical team, you actually cannot pick Artemia. You have to pick Lorraine. And from that point on, you need to invest into Lorraine first, get the unique weapon first. So that is one of the downsides of picking a magical team. Because on a physical team, you can pick uh, either Miruru or Selene or both. And guess what? Selene is an absolute monster when it comes to the early game in terms of raw physical damage. It's, it's sickening. And I think of making another video on trying to get to this point within a day. Now, don't count me out on this, but I want this to happen at some point. So, those are things that I am thinking of. And one of the surprises that I had was Kersey. Now, Kersey, we all know that she does a lot of stunning. And she actually has herself a move that uses... I thought it was dying. Guess what? I'm not because I'm having a lot of stuns. Hence why I picked Kersey. Now, Kersey has an attack speed reduction, which is amazing for Dragon's early game. So I would say in terms of a magical team, this is probably, probably one of the easiest teams that you can deal dragons with and get the early game progression in. Now to verify if this team is actually consistent, let's do it again. So in terms of consistency is really good. Annette is able to heal pretty much solo everything because Kaula is also a pretty decent healer. Like I had to pick a two star, right? And I was like, out of all of the two stars that you could pick, I pick Kaula because there was nothing else that I could use. That was a little bit of a downside in my opinion, but in all fairness, it, it played out. It definitely played out until I got a net. And it took me a little bit to get Jane, because now Claws is my main uh, tank, but still Jane is putting a worth in terms of shredding. But early game, guys, for newer players, you get such a monstrosity of items where you can level at. It's just... I don't know what to tell you guys. It is so easy to get to this point. And for the people that want to know, Go and check out my stream. Go and check it out if you have questions about how to build your characters, what characters are good, which ones you should invest in. Go to my stream and obviously I will be answering each and one of your questions. And guess what? There are some happy people already. 
makes it very easy. And also another thing that I want to address is I messed up at the beginning or not really messed up, but you can get like five unique artifacts or not artifacts, unique treasures at the beginning. And you can delete your characters, do that every single time until you get the right artifacts from the get-go. And that is something that I have not been doing into this run. But if I would add that, oh my word, it, it would have been such a different run. Oh my god, now everybody is gonna die. But guess what, if I actually stun this guy right now, I think he will still die. Because for some reason, I don't, I don't get even why. But Lavril is on the most useless gear, but she survives. I don't even know. So, guess what? That is it for the dragon. Now, let's move on to something other than this. Alright, just to show you guys one of these levels and I still gotta start it up. Why not pick this one and see how far I can get with it. So these are undeads and I got myself a full team set up and I gotta say Lorraine is definitely putting it down. So let's get it started. Let's see if I can actually beat my earlier score, which is crazy. So let's see the early game damage coming out of everything. Now I probably have to manual this because I tried doing this stuff on auto and me. Yeah, it's a little bit iffy. And uh, what are the downsides right now? Our team is not having any life steal. If she had, she would never die right now. But guess what? We are just killing things. It's not even a question. No. It's not auto. Okay, okay, okay. You guys called me out. It's not auto. But guess what? I don't give a fuck. Just look at this. Ooh. <laughs> Big deeps, boy. Nice man. That stuff is just so good. Now I have one big problem, and that is this skeleton. It's the boss, and he could do some some actual damage. But guess what? Not a care in the world. Guess what? Guy dies. Artemia. Alright, let's move on to something else. Tower of Challenge, maybe? Let's do Tower of Challenge. Ready. Floor 66. Tried it. But not so far. So I need stunning onto the right time and I need to get the S3 off on Jane. Because if I do not, then I'll be having no use for Jane whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manual Annette. Get the CC immunity off. And the moment I see him do big skills. Uh, there we go. Immune to whatever and I pop this onto the 1.5 right now because he is doing the big hits and guess what I can stun him great and once I get this lady up to the right point then I'm really really good okay now I gotta keep a close eye on this guy before he pops the big skill Stun him in the meantime. Good. That was solid. And now I can just do the damage once again. Let's see if I can pop just a little bit more. Okay. I have a problem. This skill did not pop. Here comes the silly damage. And I honestly don't care about that as much. Big hits. Big crits. Ugh, and I get debuffed again. So there's no healing coming out of Jane. Sadly enough. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for this guy to die. Or me. It's one of the two, baby. Luckily, if Jane dies by any chance, 
then I still got some time left. Can I do it? Fuck! A flex on. Okay, so guess what? Floor 66, doable. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, changing one thing up because I feel like I need a little bit of life steal here and there. But let's try this again. Infira, can I do it? Now the start, supposedly really easy, but he can mess me over from the get go. Laser Bimo. Let's see if I can kill this in one go now that I got the maximum shred. <laughs> Let's do that again. That's sick. Yo, if I do it like this, what happens? Laser beam. Mm, I would say too much of a waste. Okay. Let's go for the instant stun and let's see where we can go from with that. No stun. Come get it, Poppy. This may actually be very good, like in my favor. Damage has not been popped. Nasty. Ugh. Debuffs, stun. Got it. And guess what? It's looking pretty good. Can I get it? That's just one more hit. And I know I got life steal right now. Eee! Three and a half days in. I guess that concludes it, guys. New players have it easy.